Hello, hello. I am trying to fix my lighting setup. Uh, and the problem that is actually making the light source a little bit bigger to make sure it's a little bit softer. And to do that I have made these cones out of a very dense fabric and then just spray paint painted them uh, in order to reflect all the, the light. And as you can see here I have had to put them all on my stove here and, and put, turn the fan on to max in order to a, to get rid of the fumes. I'll turn it up momentarily just to show you. And also, as you can see here, this, these are the cones for, for the old light source setup. And I am going to put the uh, fan back on just to make sure I don't die from the fumes. Now for the next couple of weeks I will be talking about how I'm going to update my production setup. That, and that involves both cameras, lighting and sound. And possibly ed editing too, I don't know. But anyway, for you to un really understand what I'm going, going to be doing, I, I need to teach you how to sketch properly first. So, this is a Drawing for Newbies, episode 5, and uh, you just uh, sit back and relax and welcome to Board of the Studio. Right, sketching. Now, sketching is really a science in itself. Uh, there are many techniques to choose from. Uh, some may work for some products and so, some may not work at all. So, some may, may work fine for some people and not for others. And also some materials may work for some techniques but not for others. I will explain wh when and where you can use them and also wh when they may not be as beneficial. Uh, I will use traditional medium today but there are also say, a few uh, techniques you, you can use in, uh, in digital that you can't use um, in traditional. I like this, but uh, that's another tutorial for another time. Today's materials is a little bit different. Uh, we'll use a graphic pen. Uh, no, not graphic, graphite pen uh, of various kinds. A, a, a marker pen, a, ru a rubber, and al also, as usual, ballpoint pen and copy paper donated by daddy. Hold on! Where are all my papers? How the f*** should I know? Anyway, let's warm up. Started. Also, another thing you are going to need for, for today's tutorial is a good picture of something or an object to draw. Uh, it could be anything from cell phones or old MP3 players. Or in this case, I have opted for a book. This is uh, as, this is a really fantastic book. It's a uh, book book with a lot of insect pictures, and as you can see, they are just lovely images with a lot of detail and a lot a lot of good shapes. Now, unfortunately, I can't show show you too much uh, of the con the content of this book, but as you can see here, it's a book by jo John Halmian, jo John Halmian, and uh, and te text by Lars Orki jo Johnson. And uh, quite frankly, uh, if you are starting out as artist, industrial designer, or whatever, try to get get your hands on on some good books. Uh, I have a few books like this. I have also a few um, books strictly on mechanics and whatnot. And it is just so g good to have. Uh, it's so much better to have a book or so of, um, of a subject matter that, that you can look through and, and sketch from than having to go on the internet and trying to f search for yeah, images. That is just a tedious process that will just take too long and you will just lose interest in sketching. So get books if you can. Uh, and also, John and Lars, please don't get too pissed off at me. <laughs> Uh, I can I cannot tell you I'm do only doing this uh, for uh, of love, not not uh, I don't um, interest of getting some co comments. This is really a really a fantastic book, and I really do love sketching from it. Uh, but anyway, um, today uh, for for the, for the beginning begin, uh, beginning for the beginning of this tutorial, I am going to sketch off this image right right here. 
Uh, and why, why the same image? Well, it has a lot of good sh shapes, as you can see. It, just, it has a lot of good geometry and a, good, a lot of good, a lot of very visual lines that it will help us a lot in in this first session here. So uh, let's get started. Uh. I need to, I need to clean up my desk. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get started. Start. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, the first th the first two two. Um, uh, sketching techniques we're going to use is utilizing ju just a ballpoint pen. Um, if you have been wor working with me t uh, earlier, then you then ballpoint pen shouldn't be too too much of a trouble for you. Uh, the two met methods we are going to use is a line by line me method and also a shape by shape. Shape by shape. I don't know if that's spelled correctly. Oh, anyway, um, let's let's get started now. <laughs> it's cold here. Uh, the first thing, thing we're go going to do, we are going to look at our image and see, uh, see, see what can, and see what we can uh, fi find out about it. In this case, uh, a li line by by line, it's exactly what what it is. It's a you're literally ta taking ev every line on the image and try and try to reproduce it. So let's see uh, on the image here that uh, you can't see on camera, but I will just uh, lay in later in edit. Uh, we can start start off by ma making a curve of of the. Uh, back, back pl plate here on the on this little uh, insect. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see what we can do do here. Let's see. Let's make that something like this. And let's see. Let's let's let let's let go out like that. And let's see. Let's make a, a line for the first leg here. Another line for, for the second leg here. Uh, yeah, it should be a little bit bigger like so. Oh, and the last leg here, and let's see. Let's make that in the line for, for a little foot here. No, more, one more for the uh, other foot here, and, uh, and just like so. And now let's see. Let's start on the wing. Let's start on the wing here. Let's do a little line there, and let's see. Let's take this part, part of the wing here, and draw it upwards like so. And now we can uh, start. And we want some more details. Let's take in that little plate over there. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's make the underlying structure here. The three to room. And let's see. Let's make that little structure there. And also, we can make make a, a sh shape here for the eye. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see like so. And let's see. It's it, it is the um, uh, it's a little weird insect. It's, it's a triangle eye, triangle, triangular eye, as you can see here, um, somewhere on the image, right here, somewhere. I don't, I don't know where it's going to be uh, yet. <laughs> and let's see. Let's make some nostril area then. Yeah. Oh, I, I've forgotten one thing. The horn right here. Let's see. Let's see what do we have here. Yeah. And now we, let's see. Let's draw in some little more guidelines for some more details. Like so, like so, like so, like so. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Let's make that one go like that. And uh, we have another one there. Let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for not to be talking enough. Uh, talking enough here because uh, this actually take take a little bit of co concentration. And uh, well. And uh, the, the point of this technique is just try to make, make uh, try try to uh, do every line as as you see them. Uh, whew, damn, I got cold fingers. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, uh, I can show you. Uh, most of you will probably start start off like, like this, making lines like like this, really short short line lines, and just try try to make make the shape like like that. But uh, that this isn't real really good. You can see here this really choppy lines, the lines will just look amateurish and they are just going to look really ugly. So what you are going to try, try to do is to try and make all, uh, your lines as free-flowing as possible and just let, let your hand do, do the work. And if, and, uh, that, and, that's, and that will work, will work really well for this technique. And now let's see, we can, now we can start start to do, ma making some of the de details. Let's see, oh, let's see, let's start, start with the leg here and also when, when you are do, doing sketches sketches like like this uh, try, try and start start doing doing the sketches 
uh, from the foreground back. Um, if you if you start start off on the back, background try, trying to go to the foreground, uh, you are going to have a lot of uh, lines that that um, that won't do anything for for you in the sketch, and also it will clutter up the the sketch a lot. Um, if you made la the lines in the background first, and then realize oh those lines aren't exactly showing, and then the, then you have made, partially made those lines uh, completely unnecessarily, and then and you have also uh, ensure that the paper will be cluttered up and that, that is all, something really bad when you're using a ballpoint pen like this and also if you if you can if you are if you are skilled, skilled enough or if you feel comfortable enough try to use a ballpoint pen uh, because uh, um, if I if I start using a, a pencil here this will take take a whole lot, lot longer uh, um, uh, why, why? Well, if I make make, make a, little, a little mistake like that somewhere across the the, the paper, first of all, like so, then I will have to go and go in and just try and erase it and whatnot, and that will just take so much longer. And uh, if you're wor working uh, in the production system, either as a concept concept artist or industrial designer, what whatnot, you need really need to learn how to sketch qu quickly and how to produce a lot. Uh, of uh, ske sketches in a, in a very short amount of time, so um, and the ball the ballpoint pen uh, here it just teaches you to be uh, accurate and just ma make sure you don't don't make any mistakes, um, and that will just help help you a lot because your precision in any other medium will be a lot better, and also uh, you will be a lot quicker a lot uh, a lot fa faster as well. So let's see and see and what more can we do here? We can make a little line like so. that. I see a little shape down there, like so. And let's see and make a little mo muscle area area here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's look at all the shapes and see see what we can find out. And uh, let's see. Now we have a little nice little sh shape here. We'll see. With a good, good nice shield uh, eyebrow, so, so to speak, speak on top on top of the um, uh, bug here, and also let's go go over here, make a little line there. Let's see what what, what is going to look like after a while. That the and let's see, let's make make the the uh, back area here. Try and line it pro properly. And also, it, uh, and also make, make this little, little rich area here. Let's see, we have a hole here. Let's see, fill it in like so. And also, now we can st just start on the eye a little bit here, like so. And also, you can see here, I am doing a lot, lot of mistakes here, and that's uh, re real, and that's really a thing you need to get 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 away from. And also, I am. I am actually reverting down to the technique I told you not to do. I am doing this technique right, right, right now, and uh, and and really, I am just gonna have to try and work away from it from here on out. And also, I I t told you in my videos before, I am not exa exactly a complete professional yet. I ha I haven't been doing this for too many years, so you are literally watching the scars of learning happening to me, as you, as you are watching. I'm watching this, so let's see. Let's co continue this. Let's here. Let's continue with the wing. Let's see. Uh, let's start with a good shape over there. Let's see. Come in there. Let's see. Let's make make the make the wing go down there. So let's start on the ridge, ridges here. That's this hol holding up the wing. And here we can make it something like so. And. Um, I am going to no, I'm not. I uh, yeah. Now, now I'm going to do do that. That, that is the back, background. Background. I'm going going to do that lighter. Let's see here. Let's make make little make make the, these little shapes here. Uh, let's see. Let's make the back of the wing here. Let's make make little more bridges in here. And uh, yeah, I'm reverting back back to bad habits. Ah. Come on, Harold, stop it. And let's see, let's make, make the little the lines there. Let's see, let's make that line there. 
Let's see to D Z and see what we can can come up with. And also, as you can see here, um, uh, by using va varying uh, width widths and thicknesses of of the the line here, uh, that you can that you can produce quite easily if you have a good ballpoint pen. <clears throat> good ballpoint pen. Uh, you, the thinner lines, that, the thinner sketch lines that you used uh, earlier to, just to get get some some, some uh, shape started, they almost disappear completely in in all the other thick lines. And let's see, let's make, make a little ridge here, back there like so. Let's see, make a little ridge there so. And now we can let's make make a little back. Let's hint the back back a little bit, a little bit back here. And let's uh, t take that like, like so. So and now we ha we have kind of a back back here, just hinting in the background uh, there behind the wing. Right, like so, and I think I am going to call that. Done. No, I go, I'm going to make make a little bit more more details, <laughs> and yeah, just just for fun, just a little bit more more details. Yeah, I just just because I can. Let's see, let's see, let's make a little bit more de detail like there, and let's see, see how these these shapes here are turning up. Let's see, let's make these legs a little bit stronger, like so, like so, like so. There we have so, so, something to start off from. Good. Right. Now, that's the, that's the first method, method, line by line. Now, we're going to ju jump over to a little bit simpler method, at least I think, and it's the shape by shape, shape method. And this method co consists of you watching uh, your object and see what shapes exist where and uh, where and when. For instance, is it cones, is it spheres, is it, is it ovals, is it cylinders, is it cubes, or whatnot. And uh, for, for this uh, uh, kind of draw, drawing here, we, we have a lot, lot of good, good different shapes. For instance, we can start with the head here. And that's just a circle, I, th I think. Like so. We have a wing back here that is mostly an oval. Mostly oval, like so. We had also the back, the back, the back section, which is... We use kind of a two two part two parted oval like so. We have a little a mouse section here, and we have a little eye area here. Uh, and also, let's see, let's see, we have and this, now there's uh, some other shapes. Really, we can we can make make something like so. And also a little small little, a few a few little uh, circles here for for the legs. Like so, and also some boxes here for, for the legs as well. Like so, and also actually a few shapes like 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 so for the legs. And now <clears throat> we can start start de detailing this again. And I don't think it's going to be explained too too much here. I'm just going to draw, and you're going to follow. You'll you'll see in a, in a, in a bit what uh, what's going on here. As you can see, see here, there's a few, there's a couple of differences here. Ah, uh, let's see. Um, uh, if you compare the, this sketch here with this sketch here, and also compare it with the original, like so. Let's see this. Place this one uh, over here, like so. Yeah. 
Let's see, is that in camera? Uh, almost, yeah, that's good, good enough. Um, as, you can, as you can see see here, um, this uh, this method here is a bit, little bit more realistic to, to what the original look, looked like, I think, at, at least. Um, but this method here, it was simpler to draw. Uh, and, in this case, uh, if if I was uh, go, going for realism, I would have used a more, a more like a line by line method and try try to get get all the uh, lines correctly or, and cor and make sure they fl flow nicely. Uh, but if, uh, for instance, I am working on a project and I'm trying to make make sure the shape the uh, I'm working quickly, I would ha have to revert to a more shape based method. And also, uh, if I'm working on a project and uh, I, need, I need to make another view of this, for instance, a front view or some kind of perspective view, I would have to work, work in a shape-by-shape shape me method. Because if you have the shapes, if you know the shapes of your object, they, they can also, they also know what, how they will look like in a perspective view or in any other view. So, uh, for realism, line-by-line, line, at least that's what I would use, and for, and for projects, shape-by-shape. Shape. Or, if if you're feeling um, uh, fancy enough, do a combination of both. Nothing says you can't do do that. Anyway, next stage. The next two techniques are something a little bit more different. Uh, for this, you're going to need a marker pen and the graphite pen that I showed earlier. And also, I just re remind myself, I like to use a good marker paper for this. Um, uh, if you use a re re regular copy paper for this. Uh, the markers will actually run out a lot quicker on on this paper, and it will ruin the, these pens. And they and they are a little bit exp expensive actually. So uh, I I myself like to use a, mar a marker paper for this. But uh, if you don't have access to a marker paper, you can use regular co copy paper if you like. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, continue. Now the next techniques I'm going to show is a silhouetting technique and also a negative space technique. Maybe I should stop trying to trying to write stuff stuff here. I don't know. Anyway, let's divide the pa paper and start start over. Now, the silhouette technique is exactly what, what you may, may think it is. It's the silhouette of, of a design. Uh, this is a good, good technique if you don't know what you're go going to draw for. Uh, for instance, if you are working in a uh, in a design production in a movie or something, this is a good good te technique just to get some silhouette of characters uh, to see if they work and also uh, for, for various designs this could al also work if you are trying to get some kind of feeling and the silhouette of something is really determining the feeling of the object. Uh, but anyway, let's get started here. Let's start start, start by, the, by the, using the marker and try, try to get, get something that is a little bit similar to what we have on the, on the paper here. On our picture, I should, I should say, and I'm not that accurate as as you can see here. I am just ske sketching out the large forms of uh, the insect here. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's let's go start here, and let's fill this in a little, a little bit, and let's make that part there a little bigger. And uh, it's not it's not big enough. If it doesn't have much enough back area here and it needs to come up a little bit like so and also a little bit horn horn stem yeah and well that's it for for the silhouette actually uh, you're you aren't going to be doing anything more than this and um, what you can see here, here now this took me just a few seconds but I already ha have a shape this is quite recognizable uh, if you look look at it, the image it is quite represent representative but the only thing you do now is go in with uh, a pen of choice, uh, in my case, ballpoint pen as usual, and I just uh, fill in the details. So go along here, 
And this is starting to get a little bit boring for me because I haven't drawn the same object a few a few times now. And it's yeah, you're just going to get bored if you're trying to do this exercise after a while. But if you do get bored, uh, get off to the paper for a while. Uh, go and drink some tea or something, and uh, just come back when you feel a little bit more refreshed. But anyway, we are back. We are off to our last technique that I'm going to show here. And for this, um, if you use this technique. Uh, with a graphite pen, uh, then you can't use a, um, a you can't use a marker pen like like this afterwards because it will ruin the, the nibble the nib of it. Uh, the gra the graphite particles will actually clog up the nib of your pen of your pen. So uh, if you like like to have a l good longevity on of your pen of your marker pens, then you, then you can't go in with any kind of graphite pen. Um, and then mark, mark You have to go mark it, then graphite, not the, the, the other way around. But anyway, uh, what you're going to do now, you're going to take a, a graphite pen. This is a very large graphite pen. Uh, you can you can work with a uh, regular uh, uh, pencil. Yeah, that's, it's, that's what it's called. Pencils, not, not pens. Yeah. Sorry. Anyone who actually knows the English out there. Um, and what, what we're going to do, we're going to do this. We're going to Try and make a smooth grey surface here, and it's as smooth as possible. Uh, not too, not too much uh, variation in in the grady, gradation like this here. That, that is the a mistake I don't, I don't want, want to have here. And just fill fill up an area like this. Now, uh, and now the only thing we're going to do, we're going to use a um, a rubber like like such as this one, or I have a little, little bit better ones here somewhere. God damn it! It disappeared. Uh, anyway, I'm going to use this this one right now. Uh, let's see. Let's let's try. And now we're going going to take take this and just try and make our silhouette here. And. Why this is called negative shape? Well, we are now actually drawing the uh, the shape of the the object, and we are not uh, <clears throat> how, how should I put this? We are not ca caring about about any ca kind of lines anywhere, and we are not uh, worrying about about where um, the any de details at all. Uh, we are just focusing on how the shape would lo look like if uh, it was. Uh, for instance, backlit, or it uh, it was li lit by a la lamp, and no nothing else was lit, or um, or, v or vice versa. Let's see here. Let's try and make make this shape over here. Let's make that shape like so, like so, and then a little horn here, like so. Now, I also, I like I like this technique because I can use a really large area of of my er eraser here and just make really good look. A good big, big shapes like, like that, and if I, I'm, go, I'm going to be uh, ma making a lot of something I don't know what what I want to have, then this is a, a very very good good technique to, to use. Um, uh, I haven't actually used that, that much yet, but uh, I hope I'm going to do do it a little bit more in the future. But anyway, now we have a silhouette of some of something. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it comes up on, on camera here. And now I'm just going to go in with a ballpoint pen again and fill in the details. So, ah, uh, now I'm gonna have to stop detailing this before before I continue working forever. Right. <clears throat> now, uh, I think I think I'm done. Let's see. Let's compare the results. We saw we started off with the line by line me method here, and uh, I think that this became became the most realistic one here. It's a, 
uh, it matched the Im image a lot better. Then we took a shape by shape, and this uh, was a lot, lot simpler. But uh, the the sign uh, that, that I put, put in, the, my interpretation of, of the image became, became a, a bit more apparent, and it d didn't match the image uh, as much afterwards. And then we jumped uh, over to a, bit, to a bit more design methods. And uh, yeah, here, here I'm just lo losing it because I'm being, getting tired of this image right, right now. But uh, as you can see, um, uh, here I, I made the silhouette. Uh, it wasn't very, very accurate. Uh, and for, for the, this method here, where I tried to make a realistic interpretation of an image, it didn't really work, but it works very, very well if you are, go if you are going to be doing uh, some kind of... Uh, I, I don't know... Uh, if you're going to do some kind of production paintings or um, um, industrial design, design work or, or anything like, like that, this method works very well because no one has seen this before and no one knows what, what it is. You are the, are the one uh, that, are, that are controlling it. And also, as, as you can see here, uh, when I make, made the details, I went off the silhouette line, lines a little bit here, and I just ma made it my, my own. I don't. Uh, when you're using the silhouette met methods, you don't have to use everything you have drawn. You can go outside of the lines a little bit. And here on the last one, it was essentially this one, but with a graphite pen instead. And uh, as, you can, as you can see, it tur turned out pre pre pretty well. Uh, and I tried to be a little bit more accurate to, this time, but. Uh, as you can see on the back back here, it just it just it just didn't didn't do, do me any good here. I should should spend a little bit should have spent a little bit more time here, and also it became a little bit compressed uh, and whatnot because I because yet again I didn't try to copy the, the shape accurately enough. But um, if I had tried, tried to do that, and uh, then I could have got, gotten this res result right here. But um, and that's. Mm, that's it, real, really. The line by, by line method wor works best if you wa want to have realistic uh, images. At least it does for me. Uh, shape by shape wor works quite well if you only ha have a, a ballpoint pen. The silhouette w works well if you have a marker pen and likes to know, like to know the silhouette of your object. And also the gra graphite and uh, rubber, rubber method works uh, well, well as well if you don't have a mar marker pen. And also now when we have all, all, uh, all these techniques, uh, you, I need to say you don't have to use a, one of them or, the, or exclude the, the other. You can use all of them at the same time. Actually, you can actually you can also combine uh, combine the, these techniques and just come up with something on your own. Uh, as you can see see here when, when I do did the, the, these two, I did use to shape uh, make little shapes here just to determine how how the uh, veins in the wings w would look like. But other than that, and other than that. You really can mix and match the, the, the te techniques uh, uh, either way you like, and as long as you produce something that looks good, no one really, will really care about about the technique. Only a teacher that is trying to teach something will t care about the technique. But anyone in a production setting or the uh, uh, end client, they will not care about the technique as long as you get a good result. Well, that's it from me for today. Uh, join me next time when I use this in a production setting, when I, I'm going to try to uh, re rearrange my uh, my se setup here and possibly clean, clean off my desk a little bit. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, uh, sub click, click the little like button and subscribe, and I will see you ne next time. And also leave a comment if you'd li like to see me do, do something. And well, in, in the meantime, uh, uh, have, a, have a nice day and uh, welcome back to Water Auto Studio in, in a later time. Bye! <laughs>